so excited that you're here this morning. We're just so stirred to worship Jesus this morning. We've seen Jesus do the most amazing things uh, the past six weeks all throughout America. And I know for Lindy and I and the, and the crew here that's filming, our hearts are so filled with gratitude towards the Lord. Yeah. And so we wanted to plant ourselves um, in a gratitude passage in Psalm 145. And so maybe you're sitting down in your living room not right now and you can pull out your Bible. If not, it's okay, but we're going to be rooted in Psalm 145 today. David says this. He says, my heart explodes with praise to you. Now and forever, my heart bows in worship to you, my King and my God. Every day, I will lift up my praise to your name with praises that will last throughout eternity. Isn't it amazing that today we can do something that will have an eternal lasting impact? Today, our praises as we lift our voices to Jesus, as we give him something that won't fade, it's, it's, it's the, the reality of our praise. It does not fade. So if we want to do something that will last forever, man, let's give him praise today. So right now, wherever you're at, whether you're in your living room or watching in your car, can we point our hearts towards Jesus right now? And can we just begin, just in our own words, just begin to give him praise, begin to look at him, begin to thank him. You see, the word says that we open the gates with thanksgiving and we, we enter in further with praise. And so right yes, now, I yes. just want you just to begin thanking the Lord for a brand new day, thanking the Lord for life, for health, thanking the Lord for all that he's done for you. Jesus, we just want to take a moment and we want to thank you for all that you've done, for who you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just say thank you. Here's our love. All our devotion, thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done and all that you'll do. We say thank you, we say thank you, oh yes, for all that you've done and all that you'll do. We say thank you. We say thank you, oh yes, we say thank you, we say thank you, thank you for the blood, we say thank you, hey, we say thank you for the blood, we say thank you, we say thank you for the blood, we say thank you, we say thank you. All that you've done and all that you'll do, we come with gratitude and we say thank you. Yes, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, cause you and you alone are waking up my soul. And it's my joy to thank you, to thank you and you alone. Waking up my soul, and it's my joy to thank you always. I will thank you and you alone. You're stirring up my soul. And it's my joy to thank you, to thank you and you alone. You're stirring up my soul and it's my joy to thank you, to thank you. And it's our joy to thank you, to thank you. We enter your gates with thanksgiving and praise. 
Something that happens in the heart of the Father when His children have that cry that we're coming in, like we're coming near, like, hey, Dad, like, I'm coming, I'm coming for you. Like, one of the things that moves my heart so much as a dad is I have a 16 month old daughter, and man, when she wakes up, she is alive and energetic and full of life and runs around. But this morning was a little different. We got up early and she she wanted just to stay with me. She didn't want to move around. She, she actually wanted to snuggle a little bit. <laughs> and for as a dad, I'm telling you, it does something to your heart when your kid's like wanting to crawl up on your lap and just be with you. And I felt even this morning as Shiloh was drawing near and she wasn't just running around, though I love to watch her run around, she wanted to come near. I felt it was a sign for even this morning. You know, sometimes 
we can be so restless as God's kids and sometimes we just need to climb up in his lap. And I feel like maybe that's what even God's saying right now and a way that we can press in is, God, we just wanna climb up on your lap this morning. We just wanna press in past all the struggle. God, we wanna snuggle. God, we wanna be with you, Lord. Our hearts have so many choices today. We have so many choices to give our affection to, to give our attention to. So many strolls, so many screens, so many things. But Lord, in this moment, we choose you. Lord, in this moment, we're running into your arms. We're crawling up in your lap. We're saying, Lord, we want you. Lord, we, we want you, Lord, in this moment. And there's nothing that pleases the heart of the Father more than grabbing his kids and just saying, oh, you can stay a while. Let's not forget, guys, that we can stay a while. Yeah. So I want you to get comfortable right now in this atmosphere. Lord, we just say we want to get comfortable in your lap this morning. We receive your love this morning. We receive your affection over us this morning, Lord. Jesus. It's what it's all about. It's what he paid for on the cross so, so he could hold you like that. And there's something I'm telling you in the Father's heart this morning that's so pleased with your faith to say, I just want to be with you. I'm telling you, it's moving his heart. It's doing something in the heart of God. And when we experience the heart of God moving for us, our heart begins to move afresh and anew for him. So Lord, I just pray, God, that right now in this moment, that any weariness that anybody might be feeling would just melt away in your presence. Thank you, Lord. We love you. It fills us I want to sit at your feet Drink from the cup in your hand Lay back against to breathe Feel your heart beat This love is so deep it's more than I can stand I melt in your peace It's overwhelming yeah. I wanna sit at your feet Drink from the cup in your head Lay back against you and breathe And feel your heart beat This love is so so deep it's more than I can stand I melt in your peace it's overwhelming oh I want to sit at your feet drink from the cup in your hand lay back against you and breathe feel your heart beat this love so deep it's more than I can stand I melt in your peace it's overwhelming you overwhelm me my cup it overflows you anoint my head with oil you anoint my head with oil surely you and your mercy is gonna follow me all my days, all my days As I sit at your table As I sit at your table My heart is overflowing My cup is overflowing You anoint my head with oil You prepare a table in the presence of my enemies Surely you are with me Surely you don't leave me My God, 
heart surrounds me Oh, how you love your children
Desperate for a demonstration of your power Just come and wreck our generation For your glory Just way beyond our expectation Holy Spirit, move Tear down the idols of self-righteousness All idols built to fear of man Flip every table of religiousness Till holiness is all that's left Just worshippers in spirit and in truth Oh yes, and we're not sad Satisfied with empty words, not satisfied with playing church. No, we want a real encounter. We want a real encounter. We won't settle for a lukewarm faith. I am living for the face to face. We want a real encounter. We want a real demonstration of your power come and wreck a generation for your glory we be on our expectation holy spirit move As we come to you, as we wait on you, as we love on you, as our cup overflows, as our heart overflows, come and do what only you can do. upon you 
and pour my worship at your feet. All my worship at your feet. Hey, all my worship, all my worship at your feet. So deserving, so worthy. I was lost and you found me. I was lost and you found me. Deserving your love has completely wrecked me, God. Oh, you're just so worthy, so deserving. I was lost till you found me. You broke in, you changed my destiny, my eternal destiny. You rewrote my story with your blood. You rewrote my eternal destiny with your blood. Your blood changes everything. Your blood made a way for our eternal destiny. I was lost and you found me. How could I not give everything, everything, everything? as I read this passage in Psalm 145, let's focus in on the blood because, because of the blood we have these things. Because of the blood, you are faithful to fulfill every promise you've made. You manifest yourself as kindness in all you do. Weak and feeble ones you will sustain. Those bent over with burdens of shame you will lift up. You have captured our attention and the eyes of all look to you. You give what they hunger for at just the right time. When you open your generous hand, it's always full of blessings, satisfying the longings of every living thing. You're the fair and righteous in everything that you do. And your love is wrapped into all of your works. You draw near to those who call out to you listening closely, especially when their hearts are true. Every one of your godly lovers receives even more than what they ask for, for you hear what their hearts really long for, and you bring your saving strength. Jesus, this morning we're wrapped up in your kindness. These are our words as much as they were David's, God. We've seen, God, that you are a promise keeper. We, we've seen that there's kindness in everything that you do. We've been weak and feeble and you have sustained us. We've been bent over with burdens and you have lifted us up. You have captured our attention. And Father, we pray that you would capture the attention of a generation through our simple yeses, God. But we thank you, God, that our eyes are looking towards you in all that we've hungered for, you have fulfilled in everything that we've ever received from you. It's not been a, a little, but it's been more than enough. So Jesus, we say that you're good and that you sustain us and that you lead us, that you're a really good shepherd. Yes, you're a you really, are. really, really good shepherd. In all the blood of Jesus, I sing all the blood of Jesus. Oh, I know it's all the blood of Jesus. It washed us white as snow.
breath. This is love. This is love. This is the love of Jesus. Where the wages of my sin was dead, you spilled your love and your last breath. This is love. And this is love. Oh God, you put your hand This is love. Oh, the blood, oh, the blood. Not by power, not by mind, but by your spirit. Not by power, I can't work my way to the blood. I can't work my way to your love. I can't just fight my way into your love, into the blood. Oh, and we receive it. Free gift, a free gift. It's the 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 free gift. Oh, in all the blood. In all the blood. The wages of my sin was death. Oh, oh, Jesus, you spilled your blood. Oh, the blood. And all oh, the blood. And all oh, the blood of Jesus. And all oh, the blood. recognize that your blood is the greatest gift of all time and Lord we recognize that there's a generation that is looking for something great they're looking for something that will fulfill them they're looking but it's the blood Jesus I pray that your blood would be on our lips that speaking of the power of the blood would always be on our lips yes, yes. would we not forget about the greatest sacrifice about the greatest love the greatest gift to all of mankind there is power in the blood Lord we don't want to think that there's power in anything else we don't want to think that there's power in our, in our services or in our good ministry ideas, God, we want to just recognize that there's only power found in the blood. Yeah. You see, there's a moment that if you know Jesus, there's a moment that the blood became real to you. And it's like you can feel there's a tangible power to the blood, even in the atmosphere, when you really dwell on it and you think about the forgiveness of sins because of the power of the shed blood of Jesus, there's a, there's a, there's a difference in the room and you can know it and you can feel it. And so in this moment, God, we're recognizing that every single one of us that have had that experience, that have 
can remember back to that moment where we knew that the blood of Jesus had power to forgive and we knew that the power of Jesus the blood of Jesus had power to heal in our lives. We knew that the blood of Jesus had the power to forgive and to restore and to make whole and to bring life. There was that moment that each and every one of us had. And right now we return back to that moment. We remember the power of the blood over our own lives. We remember the power of the blood over our depression. We remember the power of the blood over our anxiety. We remember the power of the blood over our dead religion. We remember the power of the blood over our miscarriages. We remember the power of the blood over disappointment. We remember the power of the blood over us running away. We remember the power of the blood over our lust. We remember the power over the blood. We remember the power of your blood. We remember the power of your blood. Come on right now in your own words, in your own thoughts, in your own voice. Just begin to declare the power of the blood, the memory. generation will declare more of your greatness and declare more of your glory. Your significant, magnificent splendor and the miracles of your majesty are my constant meditation. Your awe-inspiring acts of power have everyone talking. I'm telling people everywhere about your excellent greatness. Our hearts bubble over as we celebrate the fame of your marvelous beauty bringing bliss to our hearts. We shout with ecstatic joy over your breakthrough for us. Yes. <laughs> You're kind and you're tender hearted to those who don't deserve it. And you're very patient with people who fail you. Your love is like a flooding river overflowing its banks with kindness. God, everyone sees your goodness for your tender love is blended into everything you do. Everything you made will praise you, fulfilling its purpose. And all your godly lovers will be found bowing before you. They will tell the world of the lavish splendor of your kingdom and preach about your limitless power. Yes, God. yes, God. We shout unto God this morning, oh Jesus. For great is the Lord. Holy Say great is the Lord, we remember. 
salvation unto another will testify of Jesus our Savior. For one generation unto another will testify of Jesus our Savior. Unto another will testify of Jesus our Savior. From one generation unto another will shout of the blood, will shout of our Savior. Yes. I praise the Oh, we sing, we praise the Lord. 
there's real communion happening in our hearts right now because we're remembering his blood and he said do this in remembrance of me remember when you break the bread remember my body was broken for you remember when you drink this drink remember that my blood was shed for you and I just can't get away from the reality of the communion that we're sharing with him as our hearts are turned towards him and thanking him for the blood. You see, that's what it's all about. It's, it's all about communion. It's why he shed his blood so he could commune with us, so he could be with us, so we could be with him. And you know, there's that line in Psalm 145 it says from generation to generation they'll speak your praises and I got so hit this morning that we just got back from this Jesus people tour and we saw so many people encounter Jesus and just as I'm sure many people are watching this you see many people encounter Jesus in your day to day lifestyle but the Lord started speaking to me this morning. He said, Graham, do you realize that your yes affects the generations that you speak my gospel to? You see, I met this man. His name was Tom on the Nashville Broadway Strip. He'd been running away from God for 20 years. And the love of God met him. The kindness of God was running after him all 20 years that he'd been running away from God. But there was a moment that he had on that Nashville strip where he said, I'm coming back to God. You see, that moment where I just lovingly shared the good news of Jesus and the power of the blood of Jesus, it didn't just return him back, but it returned his daughter back. You see, because the blood affects generations. And so... As we share the gospel, I, I can't help but to think that the 707 people that responded to Jesus the past six weeks, that it won't just affect them, but it'll affect their children and it'll affect their children's children because there was a moment where they heard about the power of the blood. And I know for me, it's changed my next generation's life because it, it forever like it transforms you so how amazing is it that we get to be a part of that reality in co-laboring with Jesus and going out and sharing the gospel that not only do we see that person transformed but we see the next generation transformed because of the power of the blood and so this is what I want us to begin to do with that understanding in mind. Can we just begin to pray and thank the Lord for all that he's done? Even over these past six weeks, what we as circuit riders have seen him do, 707 souls encountering the power of the blood. Jesus, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for every single person that said yes to you. And God, we pray not only for them, but we pray for the next generation, Lord. We pray for those after them, for their children and their children's children. And God, we ask God that you would begin to transform whole entire families right now in Jesus' name. 
You see, there's power when we share the gospel. There's power when we speak about the blood of Jesus. It's the power to transform not just one generation, but generations. So right now, let's just begin to ask the Lord, maybe even today, there's someone that God would put us in front of. That the seed of the gospel would go further than that maybe one minute or 10 minute moment at the gas station today, maybe it would go for generations. And maybe just ask the Lord right now, Jesus, is there someone that you would give me that I could share today about the power of the blood of Jesus? Jesus, would you give me someone today? that I could share about the power of your blood today. See, that's what the greenhouse is all about. It produces growth within us and it's the overflow of love that we go from. So Jesus, we just ask today that you would give us souls, Lord. As you've met us with such brilliant splendor today in your presence, would we represent that to the world today? Whether you're listening to this later, or you're listening to this in your car, or your living room, God, we ask for souls. I'm reminded of being a Corona Del Mar beach two days ago and to see this man fully surrender his life to Jesus. He was desperate, he was lonely, he was looking for something to fulfill him. And the only thing that could ever fulfill him is the, real, is the realization that the blood of Jesus paid the highest price for his life. See, that's the key. That's the answer. It's Jesus for our generation. And that day, Junior became a brand new creation in Christ. So Jesus, we ask for juniors today. Jesus, we ask for Toms today. Jesus, we ask, God, that you would give us souls today. I'm believing that from this live stream, people are going to get encountered because you sat with Jesus and because you sat in his feet, you went where his feet go and his feet go to the lost, his feet go to the broken, his feet go to the lonely, the oppressed, the needy because that's where he came for us. And because he's found us, Jesus, we will join you in your mission and finding others. Thank you, Lord. God, we don't want to forget about the power of the blood. We don't want to move another day and just take it for granted, Lord. Today, we, 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 we chuck all that out and we say the most precious thing in all of the world is the blood. Yes, God. And any other thing that we valued more then that, we, 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 we just repent of it right now. We just chuck it out right now yes. in Jesus' name, God. But anyway, we valued social media and put it as a higher priority and on that scale than your blood, God. We, we chuck it out right now in Jesus' name. God, in every other idol, in every other lover, we, we toss it away because we look at the love that you gave. we say yes and amen we're asking we're asking with the greatest move of a revelation of the blood of Jesus sweep across our nation in Jesus name father that we would awaken not to religion not to rules not to an idea not to an ideology or a perspective but to the man Jesus and the blood that he spilled on Calvary God, we ask, would you pour out a fresh revelation of your blood over our generation, Jesus? We love you, Jesus. We 
love you. We honor you. Father, we seal this this morning. We ask you would just, as Greenhouse is picking back up, would you take us glory to glory in Jesus' name? Father, we ask for encounter. We ask for a fresh revelation to fall on us in this season, God. We love you, Jesus.